Welcome to the Science of Clock Change, a video series by Save Standard Time to explain how clock time affects our lives. This series was made possible with generous funding from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine Foundation. Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson, a professor of neurology and a sleep medicine specialist. This video will discuss the short-term effects of changing the clock to and from daylight saving time. Less than 40% of the world observes daylight saving time, with most observing it seasonally in and around the summer. Clock-changing nations in the Northern Hemisphere spring forward from standard time to daylight savings time in February, March, or April, and they fall back to standard time in September, October, and November. Those in the Southern Hemisphere change clocks on a schedule opposite that of the Northern Hemisphere because seasons occur at the opposite times of the year. To learn more about time zones and why we change the clock, watch the History of Daylight Saving Time video. Immediately following the spring clock change from standard time to daylight saving time, we lose one hour of sleep time and our body rhythms are suddenly disrupted. This results in an average loss of sleep of about 25 to 60 minutes in the days after the change. This sleep loss, along with increased circadian rhythm disruption, can be acutely harmful to health, daytime functioning, and safety. I have invited Dr. Stephanie Stahl, a sleep medicine specialist from Indiana University School of Medicine to tell us about the health problems that occur after clock change. Stephanie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how about yourself? Good. Can you tell us what are the health effects of seasonal clock change? Well, in the days after the spring clock change from standard time to daylight saving time, Studies have found an increased risk of an irregular heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation, an increased risk of stroke with an even higher risk in people who have cancer or who are older, and an increased risk of heart attacks. Now when we change clocks back to standard time in the fall, we do not see these negative effects on health. In fact, science shows there's a reduction in heart attacks after returning to standard time, suggesting that the negative effects on the heart during daylight saving time may be reversed by the better circadian alignment during standard time. So that's really interesting. Can you try to give us a, a, a number to this? Like how many strokes could we actually prevent if we could end clock change? Well, in the week after the spring clock change to daylight saving time, there's about a 3% increase of strokes. Given that there's about 795,000 strokes per year, that equals about 15,000 strokes per week. Therefore, an increase by 3% equals about 450 more strokes each year that we may be able to prevent if we end clock change. More people die in the week after the spring clock change. One study found deaths increased by 3% throughout the week after clock change. Another study looking at 10 years of autopsy data in Germany found a significant increase in the number of deaths in the week after the spring clock change, but not after the fall change. This included increases in sudden infant death syndrome known as SIDS and in suicide. In the first few days after the transition from standard time to daylight savings time, we also see an increase in emergency room visits, increased visits for depression and suicide attempts. Most of these effects are not seen in the fall when we transition back to standard time. One exception is a Danish study that found an 11% increase in depression episodes after the fall transition to standard time. However, this decreased over the next 11 weeks, which suggests a short-term effect due to the clock change rather than a long-term effect of earlier sunrises or sunsets during standard time. Other effects found after the spring transition into daylight savings time relate to decreases in alertness and other brain functions. These include more than two weeks of increased sleepiness in students and more missed medical appointments. Even the stock market is more volatile after the spring clock change. Decreases in alertness and in judgment after the spring clock change to daylight saving time can also affect public safety. A two decade long study found a 6% increased risk of fatal motor vehicle crashes. This risk is most pronounced in the morning and is higher in locations with later sunrises and sunsets. Other studies have found more workplace injuries occur in the week after clock change. Another study found an increase in human caused wildfires. In this video, we discussed how clock change can lead to short-term harms, especially after the spring transition to daylight saving time. 
These harms include sleep loss and circadian rhythm disruption, which increase the risk of heart attack, stroke, and mood disorders. Sleepiness and other effects on brain function increase safety risks such as motor vehicle crashes and workplace injuries. Ending seasonal clock change can reduce these short-term effects. To learn more about how to harness the full power of the sun after watching this video series, visit SaveStandardTime.com. Advocate by texting XST to 50409 to tell your legislators to end clock change now with permanent standard time.